A while ago, I made a video talking about Tanukis and their impact on video games. In that video, I mentioned how the Pokemon Zigzagoon was based on a Tanuki. In fact, nearly all Pokemon are based on real life animals, or at least mythical animals. Pokemon is my favorite video game series, and I thought it'd be fun to make a video on some Pokemon and their real life counterparts. Dunsparce is a Pokemon that many people consider to be kind of lame. However, after learning what Dunsparce was based on, it became much cooler. It's based on a Suchinoko, a flying snake in Japanese folklore. That's the reason for its odd appearance. The Suchinoko in folklore are said to be able to speak. They're known liars and lovers of alcoholic beverages. However, I doubt we'll ever see a drunk Dunsparce in the anime anytime soon. Gorbis is another one of those kind of forgettable Pokemon. Aside from filling out your Pokedex, I don't think many people have went out of their way to catch it. Though, this Pokemon's real-life counterpart is kind of interesting. Gorbis's name is a combination of the words Gore and Abyss, two words that don't seem very fitting for a pink fish, until you see its real-life inspiration, the long-nosed Chimera. This fish has a long snout it uses to feel for food, a mildly venomous dorsal fin, and a size of around 3 feet on average. The fish usually is found in fairly deep waters, hence the abyss part of its name. What about the gore? Well, that's just Pokemon getting creative, since Gorbis' Pokedex entry states it sucks the bodily fluids out of its prey, which may be a little gory, depending on the day. Sticking with fish, let's talk about Stunfisk, which is based off of Stargazers. Oh boy, that's nightmare fuel. While Stunfisk in game is known for being annoying and fairly forgettable, their inspiration is anything but. These fish are venomous. Species within the genera Astroscopus and Uranoscopus can even cause electric shocks, which is why Stunfisk is also an electric type. Sticking with aquatic animals, but moving away from murder animals, we're talking about axolotls, which may also want to murder you. Just look at my axolotl Mew. Told y'all it, Pokemon. It's debated on if Axolotl's inspired Mudkip or not, although there's no debating that they directly inspired Wooper. Even Wooper's name is a reference to Axolotl's. In Japan, Axolotl's are sold in the pet trade as Wooper Loopers, hence where Wooper gets its name. To wrap this video up, let's talk about the franchise's mascot, Pikachu. Pikachu is obviously a mouse, right? I mean, it's even called the mouse Pokemon. So, yeah and no. If we're going off design, Pikachu was based off Squirrels. This was confirmed by its designer, Asuko Nishida. She stated that the reason Pikachu stores electricity in its cheeks is to mimic how squirrels store food in their cheeks. As for the big tail, also a nod to Squirrels. Many people think the name Pikachu is in reference to the Pika, a little rodent found in North America. However, Pika is a Japanese onomatopoeia for the sound of a spark, and Chu is the sound a mouse makes. Hence why it's called the Mouse Pokemon, despite being based off a of squirrel. I genuinely love merging some of my interests into videos, so if you guys enjoyed this one, let me know and I will make a part 2. Until next time, take care everybody.